let's hear about this very cool bass. Um, this very cool bass. Um, <laughs> I got it when I was still in college and I couldn't really afford a real Fender J bass at the time. So this is a knockoff, uh, an SX bass. Huh. Um, and at the time, it was still sort of early on, I think, in the SX days, but they made the headstock that looked like a Fender J bass. Sure, probably now, before they got sued. Totally. Now <laughs> yeah. if you go look at it, it's not as cool. Yeah. But, um, but yeah, I mean, it plays like a J bass. Yeah. You keep things pretty simple. Um, Mark replaced the pickups for me with DiMarzio Ultra Jazz or something. Oh yeah, great. Um, and Probably because of the noise issue, maybe? or, or Yeah, totally. Okay. Yeah, it sounds really clean. I keep foam, I hide foam in, in here under these. Oh, cool. Um, I love that you kept the ashtray on it. I think that's cool. It's you so know. classy. Yeah, it is. I know most people take them off, but it looks so cool. Yeah, people always talk about them like it's something that they haven't seen. Yeah. And it was like, why would, I mean, I, you, it sounds cool if you play up here, which I saw I'm limited to playing in, yeah. this, in these spots, but it's worth the limitation right. to like look cool. Yeah, Same totally. with like, I play with this ring, which yeah. probably makes me play 20% worse, but I look 40% better. Right. So it's like, you're, you're right. yeah, yeah, totally worse. You're, you're 20 up. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, 20% up. Well, whatever it is, that combination is working. So Thank yeah, you. so good for you. Yeah, and I play flats. I yeah. play flats. And I've had the same set of strings since I got the bass. <laughs> That's so great. they're like eight years strong. Wow. Knock on, knock on wood. Yeah, right. Um, do you do anything? Do you clean them or anything or just? Yeah, uh, every once in a while. Yeah, especially in here. I wear glitter, so there tends to be some like glitter gunk. Okay. Um, the only rounds that I've ever played that I liked were so old that they were basically flat because they were so disgusting yeah. that they basically were turned into flats. So yeah, I just feel like, I feel like you get the bounce and the like boom that, that you can't on, round rounds are so bingy. Yeah, I, I think it's, it's more percussive when you're, yeah. when you're playing with flats. Yeah. Oh, well that's great. So other than the pickups, yeah. it's all it's stock? All yeah, I think Mark might have replaced these, but they're, but yeah, it's all stock. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Very cool. And you've got the uh, the tuner. poly tuner up there. That's great. So nothing in your signal chain. Yeah, I keep it really simple. I don't play with. I have one pedal. Okay. Here, let's. That's a good. Uh, that's a good segue. Yeah. Let's talk about this one pedal. Yeah, it's a Keeley uh, like limiter compressor, so it just okay. keeps everything even. And to be totally honest, the only reason that I have a pedal at all is because I was running straight from my amp and I was getting tangled during a performance, so actually it's easier to have the cord coming from the front. Yeah. Um, so we thought it was time to bring a pedal in, and actually this makes everything more consistent. Yeah, that so. does, it, it, and Keeley makes such great stuff, and they're very transparent, so. Yeah. Yeah, that, that totally makes sense. So once, you, once you've turned it on, you just. That's it. Yeah. I have it marked where I want it, and I stay right there. Okay. Yeah, I uh, just, I think there's a lot there's a lot to do with just this. Right. Uh, well, you, th you think about like the greatest, in my estimation, like the greatest bass recordings ever, all that, all that Motown stuff and early, you know, and, and Beatles stuff, all this stuff is just basically a bass plug straight in and totally. blowing, so yeah. Yeah, four strings. <laughs> right. Tuned normally. Right. Um, there's actually, yeah, I remember like, I did a lot of art growing up, and I remember my art teacher, I started drawing like a human form, and I was trying to mess with the way that it was drawn, and he was like, you can't draw, you can't mess with the human form until you know the human form. So it's sort of, I think it's the same theory, like I still have a lot to learn just here yeah. before I start adding other yeah. stuff. It's like too many options. Sure. Well, which was my first like real amp. I had like a practice, like PV amp. Yeah. But um, got this from Rock and Robin, which is an awesome guitar shop in Houston that is closing, sadly. Um, but they had it, and we jumped on it. And Mark was doing tech work there at the time, so I think we got a good deal on it. But it's in perfect shape. That's great. And then you've got a backup just in case. Yeah, um, and it's pretty much the same amp. Uh, they changed the color. <laughs> they changed the color of the light. 
Um, okay. Yeah, it's slight. There's a couple slight differences. I think it's a little bit. It was built a few years later. Um, but yeah, most people use it for guitar um, because it isn't that low or boomy, which yeah. is actually what I like. Sure. And in Krungvin, because there's only three of us, there's actually a lot of room for me to be higher, mm -hmm. um, especially on the recording side, because if you're listening to us in a laptop and I'm really low, it literally just sounds like guitar and drums. Mm -hmm. So I actually like to be in that range. Yeah. Not. So, and I like, a, I like to hear my fingers. I like to hear the like, you know, peanut butter, you know, sound that, that comes off of that. So that helps me with that. Yeah, I love that. And so you, you've got the backup, never use it, but just in case, because God knows if you didn't have the backup, it would die. Totally. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah and she looks awesome. Yeah. Yeah. I love, man, I love this whole lean and mean setup. Yeah. Yeah. It's great. Well, Simple. Can we hear a little bit of that bad boy? Yeah. Let's do it. Nope. Oh, I better turn it on. Nope. Huh? Better turn it on. Yeah. When you said light, I thought, wait a minute, there is no light. Give those tubes a minute. Yeah. We'll fix this in post. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Public easy tuning. Oh, yeah. You know, it's almost it's almost kind of uprighty sounding. Yeah, totally. Yeah. Yeah. And, and, and part of it, it's funny, your upper stuff sounded a little uprighty, and then the lower stuff reminded like Elvis records, you know? Yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> yeah, that, yeah. yeah, like Elvis, like late 60s stuff. Yeah, that's too awesome. cool.